Welcome back. Well, I'm again joined by a familiar face this morning. It's our very own meteorologist Eric DeBroca and uh, Eric kind of the jack of all trades. You might see him reporting, doing a little bit of weather, um, and just hanging out too. Right, Sam. You know what? The Buckeye buddies have returned, right? No matter how you break it down, we just cannot keep us apart right here. That's right. Eric, Eric's not wrong. There's a Buckeye bromance here. Little, and um, <laughs> so for Eric, obviously now we do know you're from Ohio. Uh, tell us a little bit more about Eric DeBroca. Okay, well, for 20 years I grew up in Cleveland, and then I actually went to community college, which you may not have known that. Everybody knows I went to Ohio State. That was only for like the last couple of years, which I did graduate from there this past December, and then I quickly got a job here for TV6. But fun fact about me is I've always been fascinated by the weather, by particularly snowstorms. Really? So it's not a bad area to uh, move in, right? So you are excited. You're waiting for the snow to come. What's interesting is uh, on the west side of Cleveland, where I'm from, we do not get a lot of lake effect snow. Really? Because we're lower in elevation, and then just the way the winds blow, the east side of, of Cleveland gets like 50, 60 more inches of snow. Uh, so just a, a ton more. And so growing up as a kid, I would always be kind of jealous <laughs> of all the snow days that w I'd be missing out on. Yeah. And so finally, I was in like my mid-teens, and I was like, you know what? I want to move to a place where they get a lot more snow and where they don't kind of get screwed over all the time like the west side of Cleveland does. <laughs> and so how, how ironic is it that my first job would be... You couldn't pick it any better. Pet. No, I, I don't think I really could have. So obviously you are a meteorologist, Eric, at least that's what the name tag says. <laughs> so um, what got you into uh, meteorology? Well, I just think the passion for weather and trying to understand what really goes on uh, kind of like behind the scenes that we cannot affect it and yet we're all impacted by the day-to-day -day forecasts and it's like we can't do a thing about it but yet it impacts our moods it impacts ultimately where we live and who we're going to meet and you know it basically shapes our, our entire destiny. That's deep Eric. I, it really is <laughs> and this is really too early for me. It's, it's really different being on the other side but one thing it doesn't change it's still early for me. It is <laughs> it's still early but he is a trooper now you're kind of, um, uh, in a nice way, a weather nerd. So when you're a little kid, were you walking outside, you know, like, oh, I think it's going to rain? Or? <coughs> yeah, actually, sort of. I would wake up at, even as, as early as this is for me, I wake up like at 3 or 4 in the morning when Cleveland would be in the bullseye of a snowstorm. I wake up at all hours of the night to keep tracking of the, <laughs> keep the location of, of the storm and knowing, you know, are we still on the bullseye for a foot of snow? And I would just be, like, so excited that I would not be even able to sleep at 4 in the morning. Wow. Thrill keeps you going, and of course, uh, you've been with us for quite a while, and you've had a lot of experience up here so far. Not a winter yet, no. but uh, what so far has maybe been your best and maybe some of the toughest parts of the job? Well, I think as a meteorologist or as a uh, scientist, it's very different to kind of wear two hats of reporting. Mm -hmm. Something that I've never been trained in. I've never had any experience in journalism or editing or shooting video. So kind of just trying to jump in there and be like, okay, Caught on quick, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so just not kind of being unfamiliar with the question, yeah. what to ask and what to say to, to be a good reporter, because I'm not familiar with that. That's probably the most challenging part that I had, uh, and still trying to overcome on a daily basis. Is, you know, I'll, I'll just say this, Sam. You do not want me in the courtroom. <laughs> I know nothing about court On either stuff. side of the camera. No. Yeah. No, All right. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, so... As a reporter, you don't want me in the courtroom. Okay, Just well, we'll, we'll keep Eric <laughs> on the green screen. And, of course, like you said, not a big fan of waking early, but he did it for us, and he does it occasionally. So yeah. you see this guy out and about. Uh, don't beat him up for being a Buckeye fan. Yeah. Nice handshake. Him either, okay? <laughs> thanks, Eric. And, uh, as well. <laughs> thanks for waking up early for thanks us. Thanks for having me on here. All right, after the break, we're going to go hang out with Ansley Watson. Uh, a little yoga, she said, this morning. And we'll have more from Big Brothers Big Sisters after the break.